Obsidian is a Markdown based editor and it does not have any support for multiple column layout. But thanks to the Obsidian community, there are lots of options available. And in this video, we'll talk about creating multiple column layouts in Obsidian with the help of modular CSS layout. This is the Obsidian LiveOS world that I created at the beginning of this year. If you have not watched that LiveOS setup video, then I would recommend you to do it. I will provide the link in the description so that you can directly check it out. This beautiful layout is all possible with the help of multi-column setup. And in this video, we'll talk about creating multiple columns that looks like this. So this is from the Obsidian LiveOS demo world. I close this one and this is a world where I'm creating this video. And these are some examples about what is possible by the end of this video. You will be able to create multiple columns that look like this. And you also can create list columns like this. So I close all of these nodes. Let us go straight into the video and learn how you can create these. For that, we'll be using the CSS snippets. You can go to Google and search for Obsidian Modular CSS Layout and you will get this repository by this user, ifimk. I guess I'm pronouncing that name right. So this is created by ifimk and this is a very useful CSS snippet. And don't be confused with this GitHub repository. This is not a plugin, but a CSS snippet. We'll need to add these CSS snippets to our snippets folder in our vault. First thing that we'll need to do is download the multiple column CSS. The multiple column CSS allows you to reshape either callout or unordered list and position them side by side. There are also other things such as MCL gallery cards, MCL wide views, but we'll only talk about MCL multi-column. You will need to download that CSS file first. You can go to the release section over here. And here you will have this zip file. Once it is downloaded, you can click and open and it will have these three CSS snippets, MCL gallery cards, MCL multi-golem and MCL views. Now you'll need to move this MCL multi-golem CSS to your boards CSS snippet folder. So I'll click on copy MCL multi-golem CSS. Now go back to your obsidian vault and you can easily go to the snippets folder from settings, go to appearance, and over here, you will have this CSS snippet section. Click on this folder icon and it will take you back to that snippet folder. And you can paste the MCL multi-column CSS over here. Now here we have the multiple column CSS file. Now let me show you how you can create multiple column layout with this MCL multiple column CSS. There are a few different ways to create multiple columns. First, we'll start by creating multiple columns with callouts. So I'll create a new note and write it multiple columns with callouts. This callout setup takes advantage of Obsidian callout and you can nest multiple sub callouts within it. Here's how to create multiple column layout with callouts. First, you will need to create a multi-column callout. Multi-column callout is a custom callout created with the CSS. So you can write multi column. Then you will need to create sub callouts inside this main multi-column callout. Now let me create sub callouts over here. Info. This is an info. Warning. This is a warning. I'll just create two uh, sub callouts for now. And now if I go to preview mode, or even if I am in live preview mode, this will display two columns. First is the info callout, then second one is the warning callout. And all the content in this callout will be visible under this particular callout. Now you need to remember one thing that is, when you create a sub callout, you will need to separate the callouts by using a single angle bracket, just like what I have done over here. These two callouts are separated with a single angle bracket. I'll just copy this and create four columns. I'll leave one angle bracket. If I go to preview mode now, here are four columns with callouts. You can also add other info here, such as you can create list, list one, list two. You can create headings. I'll create headings over here. Heading two, and then create list. And it will look like this. So this is the first method to create multiple column layout in Obsidian by using the 
custom callout called multi column with the help of modular CSS layout. Now let's talk about second method that is to create a float callout. I'll create a new node called as float callout. Float callout allows you to create a side node or info box either to the right side or either to the left side of the main node with other content wrapping around it. Here's how to create a float callout. You can just create a normal callout. I'll create a info callout. Now this is a simple info callout. Now let me write some content after this callout. This, okay, I'll need to leave a space. This is some spacing and paragraph after the callout. If I go to reading mode now, it will look like this. But when you add left or right to this callout, I'll write left. If I go to preview, it will look like this. This text will look like a side note. And you can also specify the size of this callout, such as small, which is the default one. You can also write medium and large. If I write left, it will move to the right side right and it the callout will move to the right side always make sure that the callout is above the content that you want to have it wrapped around by default if you only specify left or right right now we have specified right large right and if you specify only left or right then it will not work in a live preview mode when you are editing it will not be shown in two columns if you want that to happen then you can prepend with float you can write Float large. Even if I am in uh, editing mode, it will work. These two columns will be visible. This is the second way to create multiple column layout in Obsidian with the help of modular CSS layout. Now let's talk about the third method that is blank callout. This is similar to the previous one that I talked about multiple column with callouts. Here is the multiple columns with callouts and we have the and we have four columns over here. The blank callout is similar to this setup, but it differentiates itself by removing the decoration. This can be useful in cases where you want to have an invisible container for the embedded content. This here is the info callout, and you can create a blank callout by just specifying a custom callout called blank. And if I go to preview now, the decoration will be removed from this callout. Right, blank and it will have no decoration. It will only have the content. The embedded content will be here, but the decoration will disappear because we, because we are using the blank callout setup. You will still need to use the multi-column callout as the top level callout. And this blank is a custom callout, which you can use in the sub callouts. Now let's talk about another way. That is list colon callout. I'll create a new note, list colon callout. List column callout allows you to create multi-column layout using unordered list. But one thing that you have to understand is that this will only work in reading mode. Unlike the previous setups where you could make the layouts visible even in the live preview mode, this is not possible in with this list column callout. So here's how you can do it. You will need to create a unordered list. I'll create a unordered list with, okay, let's create it with four items. If I go to reading mode, it will look like this because it's a simple markdown. But you can add the hashtag MCL list column. And if I go to reading mode now, it will look like this. Similar to this list column callout is list grid callout. List grid callout allows you to create multiple columns and multiple rows using unordered list. You can do this simply by changing this hashtag in the unordered list from MCL list column to MCL list grid. If you go to preview mode, it will look like this. And this grid layout is better than the column layout. So you can also indent these lists such as list, sublist, sublist one, sublist two, sublist one, sublist two. If you go to preview mode, these will all be visible under this list. Now there is another setup which is similar to the list grid setup and this is list card setup and you can change this hashtag from MCL list grid to MCL list card and if you go to preview mode this setup will look like this. 
a list card is similar to the list grid but has some extra customization to make it card like so these are some basics on how you can create multiple column layouts in obsidian with the help of obsidian modular css layout by fmk you can explore more features from this documentation section like width control multi-column css from modular css layout is a great way to enhance your experience in obsidian this can help you to create your notes better this can be useful especially in cases where you want to create home page setups or dashboard setups this will be very helpful that is all for this video in this video we talked about how you can use the multiple column css from modular css layout to create multiple column layout in your obsidian board i hope you found this video useful and if you are enjoying my content you can support me on patreon by the link in the description thank you for watching this video till now i hope you have a great time see you in the next video bye bye